stop using manure. This December soil trick will triple your harvest naturally. If you've been dumping manure on your garden year after year, believing it as the secret to big harvests, this may be the most important video you watch all season. Because what I am about to tell you will change not only the way you garden it, will change the way your soil behaves for the rest of your life. There is a quiet December soil trick that builds deeper fertility, richer structure, and stronger plants than manure ever could. And once you understand it, you'll never look at winter or manure the same way again. Why manure isn't the miracle you think it is. Most gardeners treat manure like a magic potion, a one-size-fits-all answer to poor soil. But applying manure the wrong way, at the wrong time, or in the wrong quantity, can backfire dramatically. Fresh manure is loaded with salts, pathogens, and nitrogen levels that overwhelm winter soil. It forces growth instead of building structure. It feeds leaves, not roots. And worst of all, it destroys the delicate fungal networks that create long-term fertility. Winter soil needs rest, structure, and quiet decomposition, not an overload of hot nutrients. When manure is applied every year, the soil becomes overfed and underdeveloped. Plants respond with lush leaves but weak roots, diseases rise, frost damage increases, and the soil becomes dependent on constant inputs. But December offers a different path, one that nature has been using successfully for millions of years. The December soil trick, feed structure, not nutrients, what truly builds fertility isn't nitrogen or phosphorus its structure. Soil structure determines how well roots breathe, how moisture moves, how microbes survive, and how nutrients stay available instead of washing away. And no store-bought fertilizer or manure pile can create structure. Only nature can. And winter is nature's master builder. The December trick practiced here at Soil and Crop Central is astonishingly simple. Instead of feeding your soil nutrients, you feed it the raw materials it needs to rebuild itself. You give it a protective winter blanket, live straw, shredded stems, or even a thin layer of soft kitchen scraps if your soil isn't frozen. When you spread this layer in December, the freeze-thaw cycles of winter slowly work it downward, turning it into humus by spring. Nothing burns roots. Nothing overwhelms microbes. The soil takes what it needs at the pace it can handle. This is slow fertility. Stable fertility. The kind that produces plants that can feed themselves, year after year, without depending on manure. Cover crops. Winter's silent engineers. If mulch is winter's blanket, then cover crops are winter's construction crew. A December garden protected by winter rye, crimson, clover, or field peas becomes a living shield. Above the soil, they stand frozen. But below the soil, their roots keep working. Even in the coldest months, these roots hold nutrients in place, prevent erosion, and maintain the constant breathing of the soil. The real magic happens when spring comes, as cover crops die back and collapse into the soil. Their roots leave behind thousands of tiny channels for air, water, microbes, and future roots. The top growth breaks down slowly into organic matter, creating a balanced nutrient release, instead of the nutrient explosion caused by manure. Cover crops do not burn plants. They do not poison the soil with salts. They do not kill fungi. Instead, they restore balance. A garden covered in dead winter rye in early spring is one of the most fertile environments nature can create, and it requires no manure at all. Why decay beats manure every time, nature doesn't spread manure in neat piles. Forests don't import fertilizer, yet they build thousands of years of deep, rich, dark soil without ever seeing a shovel of manure. They do it through decay slow steady, patient decomposition. In December, every leaf, stem, and root becomes a gift to the soil, but only if you let it stay where it is. When gardeners remove every dead plant, rake every leaf, and leave bare soil exposed to frost, they interrupt this ancient process. Bare soil loses warmth, moisture, and nutrients. Covered soil gains every one of them. Decay is not death. Decay is transformation. Under a layer of organic matter, soil comes alive with bacteria, fungi, and insects working quietly through winter, and by spring, what once was a pile of scraps becomes soft, dark humus, the most valuable substance in all of gardening. A handful of natural humus has more fertility power than a whole wheelbarrow of manure. Structure, the real foundation of all fertility. Manure feeds plants, but structure feeds soil. Structure is what holds water during droughts and drains water during floods. Structure is what allows roots to dive deep, 
Structure is what keeps nutrients from leaking away, and structure is something manure cannot create and often destroys. December's freeze-thaw cycles slowly break apart dense, compacted soil, turning large clumps into crumbly aggregates that behave like a sponge. Microbes move through these spaces, worms tunnel into them, roots explore them easily, and when you leave roots from old plants in the ground through winter, they die back gradually and leave behind entire networks of tunnels, turning your soil into an oxygen-rich, living ecosystem. This is architecture, not fertilization. This is how natural soil becomes self-sustaining. Healthy soil is not built by what you add, it is built by what you allow, the power of doing less. More manure, more fertilizer, more amendments, but nature builds fertility through patience, not pressure. The December soil trick works because it gives the soil the one thing manure never can rest. When you stop overwhelming your soil with nutrient dumps and instead give it a quiet, protective winter blanket, biological systems begin to restore themselves. Fungi rebuild their networks, worms return, microbes stabilize, moisture levels balance, fertility becomes slow and consistent instead of fast and chaotic. Healthy soil does not need you to feed it, it needs you to protect it. What you do now determines your harvest months from today. December may look like the end of the gardening year, but it is actually the beginning of next year's harvest. Winter is when your soil decides how much it can give. A layer of leaves or straw spread now becomes humus by spring. Roots left in the soil become channels of air. Cover crops sown before frost become builders of structure. Spring soil cannot be transformed in April. It must be transformed now. If you want tomatoes that feed themselves, kale that survives frost, asparagus that returns for a decade, and soil that never dries out or hardens, this is the month to act. Skip the manure. Build the soil, not the leaves. Protect the ground. Trust the slow work of winter. And when your neighbors ask why you're not spreading manure, you'll know the answer. Because you're building a garden that doesn't depend on constant inputs. A garden that feeds itself. A garden that grows stronger every year. This is the December soil trick practiced at Soil and Crops Central. And it will triple your harvest naturally, without manure, without chemicals, and without strain. If you learn something valuable today, Make sure you subscribe to Soil and Crop Central, share this video with a fellow gardener, and let's keep building healthier soil together.